The United States Penitentiary, Leavenworth is a medium-security United States federal prison for male inmates in Kansas. It is operated by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, a division of the United States Department of Justice. It also includes a satellite prison camp for minimum security male offenders. USP Leavenworth is located 25 miles northwest of Kansas City, Kansas. Background The civilian USP Leavenworth is the oldest of three major prisons built on federal land in Leavenworth County, Kansas. It is often confused with, but separate from the United States Military Barracks, which is a military facility on Fort Leavenworth. The United States Disciplinary Barracks is four miles north and is the sole maximum security penal facility of the United States military. Prisoners from the original USDB were used to build the civilian penitentiary. In addition, the military's Medium Security Joint Regional Correctional Facility, located southwest of the new USDB, opened in 2010. The USDB and JRCF operate independently from the USP Leavenworth. The prison was described by Pete Early, the only writer at that time who had ever been granted unlimited access to the prison, in his book, The Hot House. The prison's history has also been covered in the pictorial history titled U.S. Penitentiary Leavenworth by Kenneth M. LaMaster, the retired institution historian. Life in the prison was also described by Donald Powell Wilson in his book My Six Convicts, a psychologist's three years in Fort Leavenworth. USP Leavenworth was the largest maximum security federal prison in the United States from 1903 until 2005 when it was downgraded to a medium security facility. Design USP Leavenworth was one of three first generation federal prisons which were built in the early 1900s. Prior to its construction, federal prisoners were held at state prisons. In 1895, Congress authorized the construction of the federal prison system. The other two were Atlanta and McNeil Island. The prison follows a format popularized at the Auburn Correctional Facility in New York where the cell blocks were in a large rectangular building. The rectangular building was focused on indoor group labor with a staff continually patrolling. The Auburn system was a marked difference from the earlier Pennsylvania plan popularized at Eastern State Penitentiary in which cell blocks radiated out from a central building and was the original design for the nearby disciplinary barracks before it was torn down and replaced by a totally new prison. The St. Louis, Missouri architecture firm of Eames & Young designed both Leavenworth and the United States Penitentiary, Atlanta. Leavenworth's prison cells are back-to-back -back in the middle of the structure facing the walls. The prison's walls are 40 feet high, 40 feet below the surface and 3,030 feet long and enclose 22.8 acres. Its domed main building was nicknamed the Big Top, or Big House. The domed disciplinary barracks two miles to the north was nicknamed the Little Top until it was torn down in 2004 and replaced with a newer structure. Historical Timeline, 1827, Colonel Henry Leavenworth chose site for New Fort. 1875, Fort Chosen is the site for a military prison. Within a year, Fort Leavenworth housed more than 300 prisoners in a remodeled, supply depot building. 1894, Secretary of War conceded to the House Appropriations Committee that War Department could do without the military prison. July 1, 1895, Congress transferred the military prison from the War Department to the U.S. Department of Justice. The Department of Justice took over the plant and inaugurated the United States Penitentiary. Commandant of the Military Prison, James V. Pope. Warden of the USP, James W. French. 1896, House Judiciary Committee recommended that the facility be replaced. June 10, 1896, the Congress authorized a new federal penitentiary. 1897 March. Warden French marched prisoners every morning two and one half miles from Fort Leavenworth to the new site of the federal penitentiary. Work went on for two and one half decades. July 1, 1899, Robert W. McClory was appointed Leavenworth's second warden. November 10, 1901, Joseph Waldrop was the first correctional officer to be killed in the line of duty at Leavenworth. 1903, Enough space was under roof to permit the first 418 prisoners to move into the new federal penitentiary. 1904, 
first cell house completed, February 1, 1906, all prisoners had been transferred to the new facility, and the War Department appreciatively accepted the return of its prison. 1910 May, the Attorney General approved construction of a separate cell block for females on the penitentiary ground so Euro this plan was later abandoned. 1913 June, T. W. Morgan, editor of a newspaper in the small Kansas town of Ottawa, was appointed Leavenworth's third warden. 1919, construction of the cell blocks completed. 1926, construction of the shoe shops completed. 1928, construction of the brush and broom factory completed. 1929, construction of the barber shop and first interprison murder. 1930 May, the Bureau of Prisons became a federal agency within the Department of Justice. September 5, 1930, Karl Panzram becomes the first to be executed by hanging at Leavenworth. December 11, 1934, President Franklin Roosevelt authorized the first federal prison industries as a public corporation. August 12, 1938, Robert Suey and Glenn Applegate the first double execution by hanging at Leavenworth. 1944–1947, Japanese-American conscientious objectors are held at Leavenworth after refusing military service in protest of the wartime incarceration of themselves and their families. 1980s and 1990s, the institution undergoes major renovations to three of its four cell houses, A, B, and C. D. cell house today remains the only cell block true to its original design. 2005, Federal Bureau of Prisons changes USP Leavenworth's mission. The BOP decided to change the custody level of USP Leavenworth from high slash maximum to medium while retaining the USP designation for historical reasons. 2011, the Federal Bureau of Prisons takes comments on a proposed new 1,500 medium security and 300 minimum security facility on the current prison grounds on 144 acres to the west of the current prison and a 238-acre area to the east. Notable inmates Famous escapees, Basil Bangart escaped from Leavenworth a total of three times. He escaped federal custody a fourth time while awaiting return to Leavenworth. Frank Gregoire escaped from Leavenworth in 1910 and never returned to federal custody. In 1916 he became the mayor of Spirit River, Alberta. Executions, on September 5, 1930, serial killer Karl Panzram, under a federal death sentence for murder, was hanged at USP Leavenworth. On August 12, 1938, two men under the sentence of death for murder, Robert Suey and Glenn Applegate were hanged at USP Leavenworth. Cemetery The penitentiary maintains a cemetery for deceased prisoners, outside the walls of the prison. See also List of U.S. Federal Prisons, Federal Bureau of Prisons, Incarceration in the United States. References U.S. Penitentiary Leavenworth by Kenneth M. Larmaster Arcadia Publishing, 2008 ISBN 978-0738550916OCLC 182525862. External links, USP Leavenworth, Federal Bureau of Prisons, United States Penitentiary, Leavenworth Information from Leavenworth Area Development, Additional U.S. Geological Survey Geographic Names Information System, United States Penitentiary Leavenworth, Kansas listing at 39A degree 19 a euro squared 51 a euro cubed N094A degree 56 a euro squared 10 a euro cubed W.